Here at King's Ransom, we milk about a thousand cows three times a day, all Holsteins and all, all registered. We've been that way ever since uh, I was a youngster. My, my dad started the farm back in the uh, early 60s. He moved to Holsteins in the early 70s. He had to come up with a new name at the time when he transitioned into Holsteins. And so he came up with the idea of King's Ransom as if our cattle were worthy of a King's Ransom. My brother and I both grew up with registered cows, and I think our interest in, in Holstein genetics probably was sparked early on uh, when we were showing cows, when we were young 4-H'ers and showing at our county fair, local shows. When genomics came into play a number of years ago, we uh, grabbed a hold of it. We genomic test everything that's born on the dairy now, and we've been pretty darn pleased with the results of using high genomic young bulls for a few generations in a row. I think it's an exciting time in cattle genetics because we're seeing such performance out of those elite performers. In our dairy, we've really tried to focus on more fat because not only is it more valuable in our commercial milk check, it's certainly valuable in our milk processing business as well. So I think if we intensively focus on a goal, we can really see some changes quickly and uh, we can see that result in the performance of our cattle quickly. Some folks are really enamored with the fact that we genomic test them. When we can show them and explain to them some of those processes, it really resonates with the consumers. When they think about it, the fact that we're able to genomic test and identify bloodlines that maybe uh, have greater longevity in the herd, or maybe will uh, produce more milk per pound of feed, our ability to produce more from the same number of acres. We certainly get a lot of connection with our consumers and they come back to us to buy milk products and dairy products because of that trust, because they believe we're doing things right. Our home delivery is, uh, it's really neat because a lot of people for them, it, it takes them back to maybe when they were kids or maybe when their parents were even kids and they talked about getting milk delivered right to their doorstep. And we really do virtually the same thing now. We bottle milk in glass. So we've got uh, trucks on the road almost every day of the week. It's a really neat experience to connect directly with the consumer who is enjoying your product. Uh, mothers will say, my kids won't drink anything else. You know, that we ran out of your milk, we went to the local convenience store, and they said, why are you buying this? We only want King's Milk. So that really makes you feel good. And it's no different in the Holstein and the genetics business. When you sell somebody some embryos or a young cow and they go on to perform well for them and they're really happy with that, it, that just makes you feel good as a, as a producer, whether it's cattle genetics or, or dairy products. For the Holstein breed in general, I think there's a very bright future because with the genetics that we have and the variation of genetics that we have, that combined with some of the genomic selection practices we can use, we're able to really make advances quickly. Certainly, cattle breeding and breeding great Holsteins is a passion of mine. It's been a family farm here for almost 120 years, and our goal is to have a business that can sustain itself and still be in business 120 years from now. I really look forward to it every day that I spend on my dairy.